Hey everyone, this is Ethan from The Real Lego Man Productions back again with a, another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Lego Star Wars The Mandalorian vs The Mudhorn mock. Uh, this mock has taken cool many months to build and it's so awesome to finally have it complete. It includes The Mandalorian, The Mudhorn, and a whole bunch of other things that are from the show. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Okay guys, so after many months, the mock is now complete. It's so awesome to see this mock in its finished form, and I can't wait to show you guys. But before we get started, I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel, just because this mock was a ton of work. If you guys are familiar with this, uh, with the Mandalorian series, this is from the second chapter where the Mandalorian fights the Mudhorn. So without any further ado, let's go and dive right into this mock. So how we are going to go through the mock is we're going to start with the foundation and then move up to the terrain and then on to the mountain and then on to the top and then with the inside of the cave and then on with the rest of the interior. So let's go ahead and start with the foundation of the mock which uses a bunch of 1x2 plates you can see. It has this unique foundation with a curve in the front. And I thought that was really cool and it makes the mock stand out, I think. Uh, you can see it uses a ton of these 1x2 plates with studs in there just to create that nice bend in the front using a friction. And I just think the design of the foundation is really cool. So on with the terrain of the mock, you can see it uses a ton of tiles and plates. And you can also see it it's uses the dark tan color and the medium nougat color which I think go very well together. I use more tiles than plates just because I feel like it represents the mud uh, better than the studs do. Now I really like using all the tiles. It makes a really cool effect that I think looks a lot like mud. Especially the medium nougat color. It creates a nice splash. Uh, it creates nice mud splashes. I really like it. You can also see I do add some twigs and stuff just to create that extra detail and I think it looks really cool. Moving up along you can see I have the Mandalorian right here uh, and you can see the Mudhorn right here and the Mudhorn is my own design. Uh, I really like how this Mudhorn came out. Um, it's all brick built. You can see it, I have that Mudhorn horn uh, with a cheese slope right there and I think that just it looks really cool. I'll definitely show off the Mudhorn later on in this video, but the Mudhorn does have a posable neck and a jaw as well, which is really cool. Moving up here, you can see we have Baby Yoda right there. And what I used to make the pod is you can see I have, uh, I used the gunship, Republic gunship uh, ball and socket parts. I really like that. Uh, and I think it just makes the pod look, you know, I think it looks very uh, I think it creates a very nice pod. Moving on to the base of the mountain, you can see a little bit more uh, twigs and stuff. Uh, you see some reddish brown and some uh, uh, some uh, uh, of the other color as well. I believe that's just dark orange. I really like that color. You can see the other side is the very is very similar. Uh, uses a bunch of those twigs. I use uh, the some horn pieces in the brown color some uh, bushes, and also some Harry Potter ones, which I thought looked really cool. Moving back to the front, you can see I use a ton of these curved slopes to, I guess, go along the border of the foundation, and they're just right there. I really like how that looks. So here is the mountain, and I really like uh, how I did the mountain. Every mountain that I build out of Lego, I feel like I just get that much better. I used a uh, kind of a different technique on this one. Uh, how, what I did is I basically started with a wall, and then I made studs all around it. Uh, and I basically just built uh, using the snot technique. Uh, and I think it just, you know, I used a ton of... Uh, different slopes, they got curved slopes, we got regular slopes, and I even have these new piece right here, which is, I forget what it's called, but it's a really cool piece. Moving up on the top, you can see we have a ton of Jawas. I feel like this mock wouldn't have been the same without the Jawas. So I, I did a break link order and I did a, got a few of them, which I think makes the mock that much better. 
Moving on to the other side, we got some Tuscan Raiders right here. I think the, it looks really cool, and I really like the Tuscan Raiders. I'm not sure if the Tuscan Raiders are actually on the planet of Arvela 7, but I have them here, and I think it goes very well with the environment. Moving up to the top, we got a whole bunch of sig figs right here. Starting off, we got DP Studios right there. We got Jaco of Narag. We got Rich Boy J. We got the Brick Wiz right there. We got Garrett Bricks or Gertie. And we got Trevor. And we got Solid Brick Studios right here. I just thought I would add some people that have been to Brick Fiesta. And he hasn't, Solid Brick Studios has not been to Brick Fiesta. But Hopefully, he will next year. We also have Ethan Network right behind, uh, stealing some of my dark tan bricks just because he is currently working on a Hogwarts mock. Moving over, we got a, a, a Blurg right here. This Blurg is my own design. I think it looks really cool. I really like all the details that I did, and you can see we got a Quill on the top as well. You can see it uses that uh, string piece which creates a nice strap around the Blurg and I really like it. Now, I'll be sure to go over both the Mudhorn and the Blurg later on in this video. So yeah. So here is the inside of the cave. I really like what I did here. Uh, it has a, a, basically it continues the mountain on with the inside right here. I really like this nice angle that I did with the, uh, the mountain, you know, curving into the cave. I, I really like this part right here. It was very difficult. I think I did it pretty good. Moving on this, you can see I do add a, uh, it's not really the easiest angle, but I do have a roof or the, a top to this cave. I really like how it looks. And we also, here's the other side. It's very similar to this side. Uh, but on the bottom, we basically have a whole bunch of sticks and uh, skeletons and bones. I really like how, what I did here. Uh, you can see we got some of the medium nougat color. We got some uh, dark reddish brown pieces. Just whatever I thought was a good piece that looked like a stick or a bone, I added in here and I really like how it looks. I'll definitely show the other side of uh, the cave. Uh, so yeah. And I, really, I am very happy with the results of the cave. Okay guys, so here is the back of the mock. You can see we got three, or actually two rooms right here, and then the rest of the cave. And I'm going to start with showing off the cave. You can see it's a little easier to look through this side. You can see the uh, detailings on the wall and the roof right there. I use a bunch of the 1x2x3 slopes, I believe what they are. And I think and, uh, some 1x2 bricks to, I guess, create that nice bend. And it's it's... This was very difficult because uh, it does fall pretty easy, but I'm very happy with how it looks. Moving up, you can see some more twigs. We got a sprue to the wands. We got just a whole bunch of other pieces like that. Uh, we even got a skull right here, which is maybe a baby mudhorn has passed, or it's just a, another beast that the mudhorn has brought up in the cave. Moving up right here, we got the egg. Uh, I use the Han Solo hairpiece, which I th think works perfectly for the egg. Basically looks like a hairy coconut, and I think that Han Solo hairpiece works perfectly. We even got some uh, dark orange uh, branch pieces, and I really like those pieces. They're really cool. So moving on to this room right here, we got Quill's home. I believe this scene is from chapter 7 of The Mandalorian, but I could be wrong. This scene is when uh, IG-11 or Pi G-11 walks through the door and uh, the Mandalorian pulls out his gun and uh, you know, this, because it's the first time he sees IG-11 after he shot him in the first episode. You can also see we got some hamburgers right here. Uh, just because uh, I thought it was really cool, you know, uh, I wanted to have a whole bunch of food right here And we got baby Yoda with his bone broth right there And yeah, you, you can see we got Quill behind there and behind uh, next to the walls We got some tools and stuff that looks really cool. We also have a cloth on the top right there uh, And I really like that cloth. It just I guess finishes the room in my opinion you can also see we got, I have, IG-11 has an apron right there and a chef's hat just because I feel like that just works with this room and I want it to be more of an easter egg room than a uh, actual 
a you know the scene to completely recreating the scene you know so yeah we got also have some crates and stuff on that side and yeah i really like this room moving on to the other room right here we got the world between worlds but it does have a unique twist to it it has a sig fig of me uh going back in time to get the sets that I never got. I just feel like, um, you know, I had a, a lot of trouble coming up with what this room was going to be, and I got a comment of uh, this idea, and it just, I thought it was a perfect idea. Uh, if you guys don't know what the world between worlds is, it is from Star Wars Rebels, uh, and yeah, we got Emperor Palpatine right there uh, with his um, shock, just trying to, I guess, uh, get me to, you know, he doesn't like him taking his Death Star and a Millennium Falcon, so he's really mad about that. You can also see I use a really cool technique using the ice cream pieces right there to create a circle, and you can also see a triangle as well. You can also see some lines on the floor uh, right there. It's a very simple technique, uh, but I think works very well with this room. You can also see on the sides right here, I have a nice textured I uh, use the textured bricks just because I think it just it looks pretty cool. I do the same thing on this side. I use the brown textured bricks right there. I just think that looks really cool. Okay, guys, so here are both of the animals that I built for my Mandalorian mock. And we, to the left, we have the Blurg. And right here, we have the Mudhorn. I really like how these animals turned out, uh, especially the Mudhorn. Uh, just, I think I did a phenomenal job with it and I'm very happy with the results. Uh, you can see, I will guess uh, I'll show off both of them real quick and then I will uh, show them in depth after I do that. So we got the Blurg right here and then we got the Mudhorn right here. So let's go ahead and show some closer details to the Mudhorn. Set that aside. And what I really like about it is I wanted the mock to, uh, or the Mudhorn to have a poseable head like this uh, and a poseable jaw. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. It does have some pieces that do fall off fairly e easy, like these sandwich tiles right here. But uh, I think it's definitely worth it. Right here, we have the horn right there with these brick head eyes. I thought that works very well. And you can see the jaw right there. I'll, I'll show it more in depth later in a little bit. We got some uh, cool textures right here. I really like those quarter tiles. Those are just really cool pieces. On the top, we got, you know, that little hump, I guess. And you can see we got the legs right there. And the back looks really cool. Oh, it has some pieces that falls off, that do fall off. But this is what it looks like. Uh, it has uh, the sandwich tiles right here. And I just really like how it looks. I think the shaping looks very cool, uh, and yeah, when I turn it around, the pieces do fall off. I'll go ahead and take off all the pieces since you already um, saw what it looks like without them. So yeah, so here is the body right here. Body is very simple when it doesn't have those pieces that do fall off, except it does have that, so yeah. But forget about that. <laughs> but here is the back. You can see some of the details that I have. And this is the head right here. I really like the head. It's probably my favorite part of the Mudhorn. Uh, and you can see the jaw does open like that. Yum yum. And um, the, there is a neck piece. So this is what controls the head to go up and down, which is really cool. You can see the eyes right here are at an angle. And what I do to accomplish that is I have some uh, a headlight brick right there with the eyes. And I have a hand right there and it just sets right there and it looks really cool. So I'll go ahead and attach it back to the, the body and do that. So you can turn the head like that and the jaw can just open like that. So that's really cool. So here is the Blurg right here. I really like how I did this animal. I think uh, I wouldn't, my main goal when I was building this mock or this blurg was to get the shaping correct and the size uh, and I think I do that very well it might be a little bit smaller but I think it looks really cool I wanted to get that those nice details in as well 
so yeah you can see it has its arms right here uh, its little tiny arms and the head right here I really like the head I use a lot of newer pieces like these quarter uh, tiles right here and these curved slopes right here with the angle at the end I just think those pieces are really cool you can also see the legs right here uh, and uh, yeah we got the tail right here as well and I think the tail looks really cool as well and one of my favorite parts about this blurg is the strap or the saddle that goes all the way around uh, you can see quill just holds it, the uh, string right there I just like how it looks you can see the bottom of it it's just really cool so I hope you guys enjoyed this mock and this building series if you haven't been watching the uh, building series I highly recommend you going back and watching those because you guys will be able to learn you know the techniques that I use you know to do the border and the mountain and all those cool techniques that I do well, hopefully this mock will be displaying at Brick Fiesta 2021. I know that is quite a bit away, uh, but I think I'll be able to keep this built for the this time that time period. So yeah, well, the real question is what is next? Uh, I'm sure I will be doing a uh, um, a uh, update for that soon. But so hopefully you guys can just stay tuned for that. Well, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out my other LEGO videos and also like this video, comment your thoughts, and consider subscribing if you are new. Thank you so much for watching and have a great and wonderful day. Bye bye.